Hi, this is Anthony Eriks with AmeriClean. In today's video, I wanna go over some ways that all of us can increase the success of our home service businesses in 2024. Over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of work done in homes all across the country. Whether it's because families had extra money from the government during the, the COVID time, or because they had extra money from not going on vacations or going out to eat as much, there's no denying that a ton of work has been done in homes all across the country that typically may not have been done in such a short period of time. As we enter 2024 and we look ahead to the year, I think it's pretty safe to say that regardless of what home service business you're in, it's gonna be much tougher to get leads. A lot of the work that would typically be done, say in 2024 or 2025, was done early during the COVID time because families were home, they had cheap interest rates, and they had extra disposable income. As 2024 gets underway, it's pretty safe to say we're all gonna be in the same boat looking for additional leads to keep our growth rates up. So today I wanna to share with you some of the things that we're doing here at AmeriClean to make sure that we maintain the same level of leads and that we're able to sustain our growth rates. It'd be foolish for me to think that 2024 will be as easy as the years in the past to get the same number of leads, but I truly believe that there are still ways that we can do that and make sure that we continue to grow. The first thing that I wanna discuss with you today is the importance of Google reviews. We've been placing a huge priority on getting Google reviews for probably the last couple of years and through um, automation, which is something you're gonna hear me talk a lot about because I'm a huge fan of automating as many routine tasks as possible um, or just our deliberate effort to get more reviews. We have been able to go from under 100 reviews to now we're getting close to 1600 reviews. And that really starts because we made it a top priority for us. One of the things that we did was we made sure to automate the review process, the, the review gathering process. We use a product called Chirp. It's a software that directly integrates with our home service management program, our CRM, our job management software, whatever you choose to call it, which is House Call Pro. Now, if you happen to be a Service Titan user or a Jobber user, Chirp will fully integrate and be able to take over 100% of your customer communication through your software. If you use House Call Pro, Chirp is a fantastic option. There's also another one that we really like called My Service Robot. It'll do basically the same stuff, but it has a few more options because it's built on the Go High Level platform. As I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of automating tasks that we either have to do on a, a really frequent basis or the tasks that are really important and I don't wanna leave up to human error. So with Chirp, what we do is we send out a text as soon as the job is completed and we ask that customer, hey, were you happy with the work that our technician did? If you are, would you please click on this link and leave us a review on Google. So it's really important though that you don't just send one request for text or for a review. It's really important that when we set up these automations that we don't just ask for the review once. We ask multiple times until they actually go ahead and complete the review step. So what we'll do is we'll ask for the review right as soon as the job finishes. While while the uh, customer service experience is fresh in their mind, while they're happy with the work, and before life gets busy and distracts them, we ask for that review. Now, if they're busy and they can't do it, a few days later, we'll send another automated message through Chirp, and we'll ask for that review at that time. Speaking of reviews, it's really important that we're going into our Google My Business, or whatever they're calling it today, accounts, and we go in and we respond to these reviews. Google really, really likes it. It's part of their algorithm that they like to see people going into their accounts, interacting with customers, and showing engagement with the reviews being left. Now there's a couple different schools of thoughts that when we leave these reviews, we should try to embed keywords into our responses. I've done a ton of research and you'll, for every person that says, yep, it matters, you'll have somebody else that says it really doesn't matter. Personally, I figure, what the heck, why not? Let's just go ahead and try to work that into our response to the review. So this is something that definitely can be automated. My service robot will do that for you. You can use artificial intelligence. You can have chat GPT respond to these for you. Uh, personally, we like to do it in-house, add a little human element of the, um, you know, the interaction to that response. So that's something that we still do in-house. Staying with Google and stuff that we can do very easily is making sure that we are keeping our Google My Business profiles up to date. So this means going in weekly, putting in new photos, you can add updates. If you have a special, you can go ahead and put your special in there, but try to add something to your Google My Business profile at least once a week. Easiest way to do this is pick a day of the week, go in to respond to your reviews, drop in some new photos that your field staff has got, 
put them in there, and then also just add a quick little update. The next thing that I wanna talk about, and this is something that we're really putting a huge emphasis on here at AmeriClean, is making sure that we reactivate our customer list on a regular basis. We all know it's much easier to keep a customer than it is to get a new one. 2024, when the leads are gonna be down pretty much across all industries, we know this. It's really important that we take advantage of our customer database to find as much new work as we possibly can. A couple ways that I like to do this is via email. Uh, you could do seasonal newsletters with tips based on you know, whatever season we're in. You could use that same email newsletter to promote your specials, pr promote a maintenance club, which we'll talk about here in a minute, or you can send out a text via Chirp or My Service Robot reminding people it's been X amount of time since their last service. We like to do this for carpet cleaning especially. You should have your carpets cleaned every 12 to 18 months to maintain your warranty. So what did we do? We set up an automated text reminder in Chirp that if they don't schedule a carpet clean during that time, we're gonna send them out a text message saying, hey, it's time to have your carpets cleaned again. Are you ready to schedule? Really simple way to do this. It's a highly repetitive task. So this is where I like to lean on automation to just make sure that gets done every single day. So this next one is one of those things that a lot of people either love or a lot of people either hate. It's direct mail. Now, a lot of times what we'll think about for direct mail is, oh, I have this customer list. I'm just gonna go ahead and send them out a quick little postcard with maybe a special on it. Awesome, great way to reactivate your customer list. Very important to do. But there's also a little hack that you can use to go out and strategically find new customers. So we use a program called Send Gym. There's also a program called Dope Marketing. We've used both, I like them both. Just a couple things in Send Gym that probably put it to the top of my list. So that's why we still use Send Gym. What we like to do is we like to find very specific neighborhoods that have something that would lead them to need our service. So an example for our HVAC friends. Say the average length lifespan of a furnace is 10 years. Now it could be higher, it could be lower, we all know that. But say it's 10 years just for this example. What you can do is you can go out figure out which neighborhoods are roughly 10 to 15 years old, and then through a program like Send Gym or Dope Marketing, you can go in and build a geofence around that subdivision. And you can mail them a postcard saying, you know, the average life expectancy of a furnace is X amount of years. If your furnace is getting close to this date and you don't wanna be left without heat in the winter, or you don't wanna be, you know, without AC in the summer, Give us a call, we'd be more than happy to come out, do a free assessment, and if your system needs replacement, we'll write you a quote for replacement. Really, really simple. The reason I like this better than Every Door Direct. Every Door Direct requires you to market to the entire mail route. Now we may not want that, we may only want part of that mail route, we may want more than that. With Send Gym or Dope Marketing, you're able to go in, pick the exact houses you want, and mail directly to those with the postcard of your choosing. Super simple, really, really easy process to do. You can complete the entire process in under five minutes, all from the comfort of your desk. Here's another really cool thing that we do with Send Gym. We've also done it in the past with Dope Marketing, so whichever one you pick will work perfectly fine. Whenever we go out to a customer's house, through a connection between our uh, customer CRM, our job management software, House Call Pro, we will automatically send a postcard to the five houses closest to the address that we serviced. Now you can go up to 50 houses if you wanted. There's really no limit on how many you can do. We mail to the ones directly around that house. The odds are that they saw our truck or if they um, you know, talk to their neighbor, they may ask, hey, how was your experience with AmeriClean? I saw they were out at your house, got a postcard and hopefully that will turn into a booked job for us. So this next one is something that we have made a really, really focused effort on over the last couple of months to make sure that we're not missing any opportunities. We know people have you know, done a lot of work that they typically would have done maybe in 2024, 2025, maybe even further down the road. They did that during the COVID era because they were home, they had extra money, and they saw it every day, right? They were in their homes, they realized something was dirty, they realized maybe their AC wasn't keeping up during the daytime because they were home instead of being at work. So these are all things that they identified while they were spending more time at home that now have been taken off the books and have been completed. So we know every opportunity we get to write a quote is super important. We wanna close as many quotes as we possibly can. 
So this is where our rehash program comes in. What a rehash program will do is it'll take quotes that have been written but not approved, put them into a follow-up cycle with the sole purpose or sole goal of trying to get that quote to close. So this again is something that we automate. Typically for us, we'll go out, we'll write the estimate, and then we'll either get a yes or no right at that time. Some of the common um, things that we hear if we don't get an approval right away, oh, I have to talk to my significant other, or I'm getting more quotes, let me follow up with you once I get all three quotes. Everyone loves the magic number three quotes. So we hear that, and most of the time that's just a excuse of I'm not ready to make a decision, or more times than not, I don't wanna tell you no, so what we like to do is we, we have a automated follow-up system, again, via Chirp, my service robot, either one of them will do this for you, where we send out a text, as soon as we um, schedule the appointment, here's what to expect. So now the customer knows AmeriClean's coming out, here's what they should uh, expect as far as the service experience. So our technician goes out, they do their assessment, they write the quote. We like to then three hours later, send a ringless voicemail saying, hey, this is Anthony with AmeriClean. Just wanted to make sure you got the quote. If you have any questions or if you didn't receive it, give me a call. A lot of times what we find is the ringless voicemail will catch the, the quotes that go to the spam folder. People you know, aren't real good about checking the spam folder even though they should be expecting an estimate. They just assume we didn't send it. So by saying we sent it, do you have any questions? This mentally triggers for them to go in, check their inbox. If it's not there, check the spam folder, or the junk folder, whatever it might be, and see if it's there. If for some reason it still didn't get through, maybe we had the wrong email address, whatever it might be, they know they should have got it, so now they're gonna call us and say, hey, can you send that again? Which is exactly what we want if they have not received it. So then one day after we've sent the quote, we send a text message, again, fully automated. We send a text message saying, hey, just wanted to check to see if you had time to review the quote, see if you have any questions, if there's anything that we can do to help, I'm here for you. So now we followed up a day later. Now this is where we like to give them a little bit of time. Maybe they actually did get three quotes. Maybe they're uh, looking at some finance, financing options. Maybe they're talking it over with their significant other. So we give them a little bit of time to consider other options. Also just digest everything that we sent them. So that way they you know, don't feel too pressured. So now three days later, we'll send them just another quick text. Would you like to discuss the different options that we gave you? Do you have any questions or is there any way that we can be of assistance? Again, short and sweet, to the point, let's, let's follow up and make sure that you know if you need us, we're here, we wanna help. So we let it sit again for just a little bit. Now at the one week point, now it's been a full week since we wrote the quote, we send them another text. Hey, just checking to see if you've made a decision. Short and sweet, open-ended. We want them to respond so that way we could engage in a conversation, which that part would be done by a live person in our office, just because I want that human dialogue to be going back and forth. I don't want it to feel like it's too canned, too automated. We want that human touch to be prevalent throughout our experience. Now, the next time you follow up is completely up to you. We do another one at 10 days, just to check in, see where we're at with the approval process. And then uh, after that, we kick it over to a human being in our office, and we will manually follow up with phone calls Again, I like that human touch. I think a lot of times um, knowing that it's a live person on the other side of the phone, it, it opens up the dialogue and we just get a little bit further. So we kick it over to human after 10 days. So I mentioned earlier, I'm a huge fan of automation. And a, the reason is just like our customers, they'll get really busy. You know, we're at their house, we give them a quote and then they have to go run their son or daughter to sports. They have to make dinner. They have to run to a doctor's appointment. They have to go to work. Whatever it might be, we know our customers get busy, but so do we. We get really busy in our own businesses trying to make sure our crews are on task, that they're getting stuff done, that they have everything that they need to get the job done properly. We have a ton of distractions. So I like to automate these things as much as possible. That way this just routinely happens and it's not based on us having time in our busy days to go out and make a phone call, send a text message, send an email. As much as possible, we automate, that way we know it gets done. So this, this next one is really important for a couple of different reasons. And what we're gonna talk about now is the importance of recurring revenue. 
you know, for us in the carpet cleaning and air duct cleaning and restoration industry, it's pretty difficult to have routine service. On the restoration side, no one's gonna go on a maintenance plan and say, hey, I plan on my house flooding in 18 months. Can you go ahead and get me on the schedule? Like, it's, it's just not gonna happen. But we have opportunities on the cleaning side, whether it be dryer vent cleaning, um, our air handler cleaning for some of our industrial customers, uh, air duct cleaning in those industrials or exhaust systems in the industrial customers' facilities. We know those need to get cleaned on a regular basis. So we want to get them on a service plan as much as possible. For you, our HVAC friends, you guys have a tremendous opportunity through some sort of club membership to get people set up for biannual service is what typically we see to come out, make sure the AC is ready, make sure the heat's ready, but also get for you, you get that recurring monthly revenue. So you know each month I have X amount of revenue coming into the company. So a lot of people are hesitant to offer these memberships. And you know my, my response to that always is, we live in a membership driven society, whether it's streaming service on your TV, even cable, if you still have cable, our cell phones, uh, car washes, we get, uh, you can get your food delivery services, your gym memberships, the list goes on and on and on. You have all these things in our lives that we've more or less set on autopilot or we have automated by joining a membership club and saying, we're gonna pay X amount of month or money every month so we know that this service is just gonna be taken care of. It's one thing off my plate. I can get back to being my uh, kid's chauffeur and make sure that they get everywhere they need to go. And for me, I don't have to worry about it. So we're all probably in the position where we use these memberships and these monthly service agreements to make our lives easier. Now on the flip side of that, we have an opportunity as the HVAC contractor to create our monthly membership programs where we go out, we'll do our tune-ups, uh, you know, whatever else you wanna include, but that way when it's time for the AC to kick on or it's time for the heat to kick on, our customers know it's just ready to go. Huge, huge opportunity for you guys to build these membership clubs, uh, whatever you wanna call it, so that way you have this recurring revenue ready to go every month. Another huge benefit of the recurring revenue, if you listen to any of the podcasts, you read any books, you know, news articles, Twitter, whatever it is, you've seen the HVAC space has had a tremendous amount of involvement from private equity. There's been companies left and right being purchased by private equity, rolled up, operated independently, whatever it might be. But one of the biggest things that private equity looks for besides the profitability of your company is recurring revenue. They love recurring revenue because they know I'm gonna spend X amount of money, I'm gonna get X amount of revenue every single month. So if exiting your company is in your you know, short to long-term plan, this recurring revenue is a huge deal and can really increase the amount of money that you could potentially exit for. Not all of those things apply to AmeriClean, but these are all things that I think will really help any home service business. These are all ways that we can, for a very, very low investment, help ourselves get as many leads as we possibly can, get as much revenue as we possibly can from every customer, and also make sure that we're doing our part to make sure that Google likes us, that we show up as high as we can on Google. So these are all really easy things things to do. Uh, there's a lot of information out there on all of these different steps. There's some really good resources. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. One of the last things I want to leave you with is I am a big believer that we should be constantly learning. There is in today's day and age, there's so much information out there for us to consume, to help us learn new skills, to help us increase our just general knowledge of small businesses and how they run, marketing, the finance side, HR, the resources are endless. So I just want to leave you with some of my favorite podcasts that I watch on or listen to on a regular basis. So these three are three that I don't miss. I have a ton of podcasts that I subscribe to, but these are ones that I won't miss. So the first one is To The Point. This is Chris Yano's po podcast from uh, Rhino Strategic Solutions. They're a marketing company that specializes in HVAC, roofing, plumbing, and electrical. Fantastic podcast. He gets some of the biggest home service businesses in the country on there. And there's a ton of insight 
and actionable steps to be gained by listening to this podcast on a regular basis. The other podcast that I listen to every week without fail is The Home Service Expert. This is Tommy Mello at A1 Garage Door, uh, largest garage door company in the country, and he is a very high energy um, type of guy. He, he, you, gotta, you gotta make sure that you've had a good night's sleep to keep up, um, but he offers a ton of good information, gets fantastic experts on his show that speak about customer service, HR, culture, uh, finance, marketing, sales training for your technicians, you name it, he has an expert on that will just give you really, really solid advice. The last podcast that I listen to quite a bit is Owned and Operated. This is a gentleman who owns a uh, company out in Ohio. They do quite a bit of different services, HVAC, plumbing, sewer. They do restoration work like we do. Uh, just incredible growth. It's on twice a week. So you have to make sure that you're keeping up with it else you can get behind pretty quick, but really great information. He goes into great detail of everything that they're doing to run their company and to continue to grow at really amazing uh, annual growth rates. So those are the three podcasts that I listen to without fail and uh, hope you give them a listen and get a lot of information out of it. So I, I hope you found these you know, tips to either be helpful or just maybe even remind you of something that you used to do and that you know, was working and just you know, maybe reignite that spark in you to go and make sure that we're doing all this on a regular basis. If you um, have not automated stuff in your business from a customer experience standpoint, highly recommend that you reach out to Ryan Fenn over at Chirp or Corey Edmonds over at My Service Robot. Talk to those guys figure out how you can use automation and a lot of this new technology that's coming out to make it a lot easier to do all these steps. But I hope that we all have just a fantastic 2024. You know, it's gonna be a, a challenge getting leads, but there's no doubt in my mind that if we continue to work hard and uh, look for new opportunities to get leads, I have no doubt that all of you will be successful. And personally, I just really appreciate everything that you've done for us now for uh, going on 38 years in January. We'll be celebrating our anniversary and I really appreciate the partnership I appreciate the, the trust that you place in us to take care of your clients. And if there's ever anything we can do to help make sure that you continue to be successful, we're here to help. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and just hope you have an amazing 2024.